But what's up YouTube, Andre here guys, back with another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Google Pixel 2 set up on your Sony XZ Premium. Now this is going to work with pretty much all the latest Android devices such as the Samsung S8, the Note 8 or uh, a Huawei. Now some of you may know that the Google Pixel 2 has recently come out. Now I'm a really big fan of simplistic home screen setups. Well, the Google Pixel is a simplistic design, it's very easy, very clean. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the Google Pixel 2 set up on your Sony XZ Premium and pretty much the latest Android devices. So yeah guys, let's just get straight into the video. Alright guys, so I got my Sony XZ Premium and the last time that I did this sort of setup step-by-step -step guide I had a little screen here that showed you everything that was on my phone so I don't have to go like this and show you guys what I'm doing I'm gonna do that again so bam there it goes okay guys so the first thing you want to do is go into your Play Store and you want to search for Nova launcher and got it just there and you want to install that okay guys so once you've downloaded this what you want to do is you want to press the home button to take it back to the home screen and it asks you to select a home app for now just select Xperia home and click just once because not everybody might be on that screen so I'm going to show you guys how to put your Nova launcher as a permanent thing on your screen what you want to do go into your settings phone settings and scroll down until you see apps tap on apps and in the top right hand corner guys you have a little uh, gear and you just tap on that and this brings you onto your kind of the default apps onto your phone so um, the home app you want to tap on that and select Nova Launcher. There we are. Now we have Nova Launcher as a default home app. And it's taken us to a welcome screen. What you want to do is you want to press next. I like it light, so I'm going to keep the light overlay. App draw, I'm going to have it as immersive. And then um, swipe up to get your app draw. Now there's a whole bunch of things here, guys, that we're not going to need for the Google Pixel 2 setup. So we want to get rid of the um, the Google search bar, I want to get rid of all these apps, including this as well. Now, let's get rid of that again. And this too. Brilliant, so we're left with just one home page. Now what you want to do is slide up and you want to go into your Nova settings, guys. So tap on that, and the first thing you're looking to do is go into your desktop, grid size, and for the Sony Exit Premium, guys, in order to make it look like the Google Pixel 2, I think the best grid size is doing a 10 by 5 click done on that the next thing is icon layout you want to remove the labels tap on that labels turn that off and go back now scroll down a little bit guys and you should see page indicator tap on that and you want that as none amazing guys this time you want to go back and tap on app widget and drawers and you just want to scroll down and make sure that it, you have swipe to open uh, turned on which is this this and then you swipe indicator I'm gonna turn that as off so have that off completely now go back again guys brilliant guys so if you tap the home button now you should see that things are kind of changed uh, there's no indicator to slide up from the bottom uh, to open up your drop drawer now once you've reached this stage guys we do need to download a couple more things so you want to go to the Play Store again and you want to search for pixel icon pack and just find that one, free UI and install. Now I am connected to Wi-Fi, but my Wi-Fi is like two or three rooms away and it's very, very poor in this room. So um, let's just skip ahead. Swipe up to access your apps and tap on Nova settings. And what you're looking for is a look and feel icon. And now the first thing on that is icon theme. Now you wanna tap on that and select icon, pixel icon pack. Go back to the home screen and that should update all your icons to make them look like the Google Pixel. Okay guys, so as you know, the Google Pixel doesn't have a dock at the bottom completely. So we need to remove that. So what you want to do, slide up again and go into your Nova settings. And this time you want to go to dock and you want to turn that dock off completely. So once you've turned that off guys, press the home button and you should see that the dock has completely been removed from the home screen. Now the Google Pixel 2 does have a Google search bar at the bottom. So what I want to do is long press and hold and to add a widget and tap on widgets and you want to scroll all the way up till you see Nova Launcher and you want to search for the Google quick search bar and let's just place that at the bottom there I'm going to resize this to make it fit the whole screen now this doesn't look anything like the Google Pixel 2 search bar so what you want to do guys is tap and hold on the search bar and tap edit and at the bar style you want to make it rounded so it has rounded edges and also the Google logo guys is second from the bottom so it's the colored G uh, from Google 
tap on that, brilliant, that looks nice, I like that. And also, I think the transparency guys on the Google Pixel 2, it has got a little bit of a transparency to show the background. So I think I'm going to go with about 15, there we are, that's exactly what the Google Pixel 2 search bar looks like. It doesn't have the mic there in the corner, um, however, I, I like that and I'm going to leave it as it is. Now the next thing I want to do guys to make it look more like the Google Pixel 2 setup is add a couple of apps at the bottom and these are just personal preference apps. I'm going to go with the standard phone. I want that on here so I'm going to put that just above the search bar and then I want the messaging app guys so I'm going to search for messages, tap that, bring that down. Now I also want my Play Store to be there so I'm going to search for Play Store, there we are put that in the middle and the next app that I'm going to be using is probably Google Chrome I'm going to be using that quite often I just search for that and put that right next to the Play Store and the final app guys that I want on my home screen uh, I'm going to be searching for is Spotify I use that quite a lot so let's just place that next to the Chrome button and uh, yeah guys it's starting to look like the Google Pixel 2 sets up very very nicely brilliant guys now some of you may prefer just to leave it as that and add your own widgets to the top however the Google Pixel 2 setup does have a widget at the top that sort of tells you your next coming up events um, so I'm going to show you guys how to get that and what you want to do go onto your Play Store and you want to search for KWGT and it's custom widget maker now tap on that and you want to install that guys I already have that installed and the next thing you need to download is Pixel Pixel 2 KWGT and the, it's the first one there guys is Pixel DOS install that that's about I think it's about 90p to download guys now go back to your home screen and you want to long press on the screen and to add the widgets now let's just add a 2x2 two two widget guys put that on here let's resize this before we set it up so roughly about that size so tap to set up guys and as you can see it's the first one for me is the Pixel DOS tap on that and do I want to go pro for this? Let's just go pro for this guys, just for the purpose of me showing you how to set this up. Accept on that, let's just purchase that. And you are looking for the same one again, which is the Pixel DOS. And just tap on that. Next, 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 allow, next, allow for that too. It's the first time I've, I've downloaded uh, KWGT, so that's the sort of things you're gonna, guys are going to need to go through. Now you do need to give KWGT access to your calendar and to your notification center so let's just give access to that, allow and what you want to click is save. There you are guys, so once you resize that, play around a bit a little bit to get the right size in, um, you should have it looking exactly like a Google Pixel 2. There you are guys, this is how to get the Google Pixel 2 home screen set up on your XZ Premium. Like I've said before, this is going to work with pretty much all the latest Android devices. Now the paid apps guys, you don't have to download them, I don't get sponsored by them at all. Uh, you can set this up free, you don't have to download the widgets. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this setup in the comments down below. Do you guys like the Google Pixel 2? Did you like this setup? If you didn't, let me know. If you did, fantastic. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed the video, smash that subscribe button guys. I am going to go with here. Or here, I can never tell which way it's gonna be guys. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.